Hey guys, Rachel Rubin here, CEO and founder of The Parlor. As many of you may know, I started my career as a makeup artist and I like to think of myself as a nude lipstick enthusiast. I have about 700,000 different nude lipsticks that I carry with myself on any given day. And today what I'm going to do is going to blind test and review nine different nude lipsticks that were chosen for me and all of the labels are covered so I can't even see what brand it's coming from. I'll be rating these lipsticks on a scale from one to five based on how they feel, what they look like on me, and you guys will get to see what brand they are but I won't until the end. And then I'll tell you my favorite one and what I rate each lipstick. Okay, so here we go, lipstick number one. This looks like a liquid lipstick and it, the brand seems kind of familiar to me, but I can't really tell. Okay, so for matte lipsticks, generally speaking, they can be very drying on your lip and kind of make you look like you have cracked textured skin. Um, I have to say this is pretty moisturizing and has good glide. And I would rate this lipstick on a scale from one to five, five being the best lipstick I've ever put on my lips as a nude, probably like a 4.2. It's pretty good, I really like it. Okay, moving on to lipstick number two. I recognize the packaging. I'm pretty sure it's Kat Von D, one of my favorites. I can already tell I love this. This might be a bridal color for me. Um, definitely looks like an orange based nude. So here we go. Okay, this lipstick is super creamy. Definitely has a good texture, has a great color. I like that it's a little pink, a little orange. It's not too nude. Um, and I definitely have a little bit more color on my lips. Comes off on the coffee, it's definitely a creamier lipstick. Definitely gonna have to reapply this during the day, but I really like it. I'd rate this lipstick probably like a 4.8. It's pretty good, I really like it. Okay, moving on to lipstick number three, it's looking like another liquid lip. Um, this looks super, super nude. Um, might even be really light, we'll see. This one kind of smells like alcohol. I don't like that. Okay, I like it. It's a really good color. Again, not too nude, has a little bit of pink. Maybe this is a contender for bridal. My only concern with this lipstick is I think it might get really dry over the day. I can see a lot of texture happening on my lips. Yeah, see it's starting to get dry and have pull. I would rate it like a 3.7. This, this color is great. <laughs> Moving on to lipstick number four. I don't recognize this packaging at all, but I do really, really like this color. It has like the exact kind of nude I'm looking for. It's like a neutral nude, kind of pinky, orange, um, definitely a little bit more color and it looks creamy. Yep, this is my kind of nude. This is definitely a creamier lipstick. Just adds a little bit more hydration to the look. It's lighter on the lip than it, it felt like in the tube but it has good texture. I would say this lipstick is a solid four. All right, so my lips are starting to burn. <laughs> Moving on to lipstick number five. And again, this looks like another liquid and I don't recognize this packaging at all. It smells good. Might be a little bit less shocking for like a work look. And it's glossy. I like this one. I'd even really like this on top of one of the lighter ones to add a little bit of color. But I have to say, I really don't like glosses that like stick to my hair or, or are too sticky. This isn't too sticky, it's still really smooth and definitely not too nude. So I would, I would rate this, I would rate this a, a 4.1. Okay, so moving on to lipstick number six. This definitely looks like a CVS brand lipstick to me, but I'm not going to be biased. This is nice. They all smell good, which just means there's chemicals in them. So that's lovely. Okay, so this nude lipstick is actually, if it is a cheapo, definitely a good one. Oh, let me just go off my lip. Not a makeup artist anymore, apparently. I could definitely feel like this, this might like wear away quickly. Definitely has some pull and there's not a lot of glide and it feels kind of tough on my lips and show, it's showing some texture. I would rate this lipstick, but it, it, yeah, it's drying sticky too. I would rate this lipstick probably a 2.9, not my favorite, but has good color payoff and I do like it sort of. Okay, I just realized there's another part to this lipstick. Maybe that's why it was sticky. I think it's really sticky now. I think it needs something on top. Okay, so you definitely need this on top to make it not sticky. I would say that because you need both in order to complete the look, my rating's actually going to go down and I would rate this lipstick a 2.1. Okay, so we're moving on to lipstick number seven. This looks familiar, but I can't quite recognize the packaging. This looks like it's gonna be a super nude. I think it might be really good with like a smoky eye. 
That's a really nice nude. This is definitely the kind of nude for people who like a lighter nude, a whiter nude. Um, the texture is really smooth and really nice. This, I can definitely tell this is a high quality lip color. The color payoff is amazing, but it's definitely lighter, whiter, pinkier, um, and not a lot of orange undertones. And there's no stick to it whatsoever. I would rate this lipstick a, a 4.9. It's pretty damn good. Definitely feeling like I found one of my bridal lipsticks during this vlog episode, so that's exciting. Moving on to lipstick number eight. It's looking like, I think, NYX to me, um, which is a brand that I definitely like. This is definitely a brown nude. Okay, so this is more of like a chalky kind of feel, but it's definitely smooth. It feels thin and chalky, but I do like the color. It's definitely for people who like more of that orange-based nude, more brown. Um, Texture-wise, feels good. Color-wise, definitely like it. Can definitely tell this is a cheaper product. When you kiss your hand, it does come off a little bit, so it's definitely not gonna stay all day. I would rate this lipstick a three. Moving on to our final lipstick, lipstick number nine. It's a gold packaging here, and this lipstick looks a little bit more pinky nude, which I do like for like a work day. I don't always like to be so nude nude. Nude nude. <laughs> Okay, this is very pink. And creamy. Okay, so this is, I would less categorize this as a nude and more categorize it as like a pink. But if you do like pinks, it would be more on the nude side. So I would come at it more from a pink angle if you like this lipstick. The texture is amazing, super, super creamy. Comes off on the hand, so definitely gonna need to reapply throughout the day but feels really good and I think looks pretty good, I would rate this a 3.2. Okay, so some really incredible nude lipsticks there. I definitely am going to be keeping some of them and maybe even using them for my wedding day. Um, but the top two for me were number two and the number one was number seven based on my rating of a 4.9. I just wanna see what this is, what brand. Makeup Forever. Makeup Forever has always been one of my favorite makeup brands. I've always loved it. Um, it's actually one of the brands that I had hoped to get for Parlor, and I continue to love it, and I'm gonna put this back on for the rest of the day. I'm Rachel Rubin. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you learned something new about some amazing nude lipsticks. I know that I did, and stay tuned for our next episode.